Caldwell Banker article launched the real estate career of John N. Allen, Chief Executive Officer of Industrial Equities. On the cover of the magazine, Corporate Report, that uh, Mr. Schenecker sent over us to be reading, was a picture of these five or six industrial brokers, or I should say commercial real estate brokers, working for Coal Banker, a new firm from California who had just hit the town and was revolutionizing brokerage in uh, the Twin Cities. And each of them were making over 100 grand a year. And so I kept that magazine and article, and when I got out of uh, law school and passed the bar, uh, in my first and only interview uh, in my life, I went to interview with Coldwell Banker. John was consistently a top five producer within Caldwell Banker's international team of brokers. What drives his success? My father always installed in me a very strong work ethic. My, he was an exceptionally hardworking man. In my career and numerous jobs were stints as a fuller brush salesman door to door and a farm boy milking cows early in the morning and late at night and long hours for low pay. Like others, he started in a small way Today, his holdings have grown to 3 million square feet of property. Our main investment platform is multi-tenant industrial buildings. We have a portfolio that includes almost 3 million square feet, uh, a number of speculative development sites, and we manage, uh, invest, and develop strictly for our own account. A firm business philosophy and commitment to quality guide the way. We have a different philosophy and have had for the last 25 years. We like to develop, exceed the standards in the industry for quality of architectural amenities, and hold, hoping that those long-term investments will pay off uh, in a multiple over time in leasing success and in modifications you need to make to make a market work. Um, our strategy is that you can never pay too much for a good deal and too little for a bad deal. This businessman relies on experience, risk management, and something else, intensity. When I went to work as a young man at Coal Bank, I really went to school on what they thought uh, made a site good. What was that hot and 100% corner? I always tell my wife, uh, you know, I'm passionate about this. And Becky will look at me and say, you, you think it's passion, the rest of us are feeling intensity. As an entrepreneur, you're always percolating on the, on the next move, the next decision. Longtime friend Brian Mark, owner of RBC Tile, knows that real estate is just one of the things that makes John tick. He really loves history and he loves people's place in history. And then the people that are in these clubs and organizations that he's part of, he really gets to know on a, on a very personal basis. And then you can tell these guys love to see John come into the room because he's got a great joke to tell him or he's got a you know he's got something else that he wants to tell these guys that are going to get him laughing and they all like to cluster around John because I think when they leave they feel a little bit younger they feel like they got a little more uh, they've got a little more energy from from meeting with John and uh, just a little more skip in their step. He's passionate about education it opens the students eyes to their full business potential. The university education is really the first time a student has the opportunity to start understanding the theories and the processes of the business. And as the French say, hopefully the appetite comes while eating. And while they're taking that accounting class or that finance class or that business management class, they start to think that they can see themselves in that role. Young entrepreneurs, now is the time to listen and to learn. Well, there's two things I know as an older businessman. Number one, older businessmen love to give advice, and number two, younger people don't want to usually follow it. Yeah, I'd say have aspirational, achievable goals. Uh, stay focused. If you want to be an entrepreneur, be prepared for a lot of sleepless nights. In business, high ground is in short supply. Learn how to play between the lines. Truth isn't a transitory concept or flexible for the situation that you're in, it's either right or it's wrong. And one thing that you can't replace in your business or in your life is your reputation. Protect it. It's the most important thing uh, that you can possibly have. We congratulate John N. Allen, the 2013 recipient of the University of St. Thomas Opus College of Business John F. Cade Award. <laughs>